So we're going to sign on here and I'm going to be able to take a look and I'm going to go into, because I have access to quite a few areas, I'm going to go into our Austin location just to give you some, some information. So the, the count home on this is set up with a last seven day rolling tally. It tells me the total number of calls I had and the total number of first time calls. It gives me some Google My Business analytics. We're going to go into all of this stuff, but let's just go into this part because this is important. I want to see and look at my calls. So I'm going to come into my calls and I'm going to take a look and I can change this from today to the last 30 days or the last month. And I can take a look on this screen and see all calls. I had 14 in this particular location. They were spread out over the month like this, some peaks, some valleys, uh, some dead spots. And then they, obviously you have the tracking number, which is Google My Business uh, website as well. All of these items coming in. Let's say you had a number out there for your vehicle wrap that could come in as well. This is going to the answering service. You have the contact information. You also, what's very cool is you can listen in on these calls and kind of see the interaction with the customers. Now, some of these that are 12 seconds may probably be uh, non, what I call non-viable leads. They're just not anyone who's going to do it. So this is really a cool way to track, see where your calls are. And remember, you can export all this out into a, a, a usable uh, Excel spreadsheet. You have unique callers also. So that's going to basically tell you who were the unique callers that came in, uh, really first time callers. You have a voicemail section if anyone left voicemail. You have text messaging. So if someone decided to leave a text, uh, which texting is becoming more popular in this case in the greater Austin area, which is very high millennial and Gen Z, it's a great area. It's a great area growing in this country. There are one, two, three, four, five, six text messages sent. And then most important is your form submissions. Form submissions need to be set up where you can forward these from your answering service to either your, your email or to another, uh, another way that you get these forms done. What's so important about form fills is you need to answer them kind of like you answer your uh, calls. We want you to answer the calls in three rings. I would say that you know you need to get to these form fills within three hours. Because if you don't get a form filled, they are on to the next potential customer. So as you look here, you have uh, your, your form submissions. So now as we come back, I'm going to come back to the home. And that was our main data. And here you're going to also see here's your kind of your report on your Google My on how this breaks down. What here did, did this break down? It gives you a little pie chart and it tells you that the website generated one and that out of that nine calls were generated on Google My Business. If you remember, I think two of those calls were repeats. So you have your breakdown here, very easy. You could export this too if you're gonna do this with some kind of tracking. You wanna go over that with your teams. It's broken by, by text, by form, by call. Really, this is a great tool for you to use if you want to get in and take a look. The other thing that I wanted to really touch base is I'm going to come in here and review my activity. The cool thing is you can listen to these calls. You can actually listen in and see what happened on this call. If you had a call that went, for instance, like nine minutes, I might want to listen in and find out what exactly was the barrier that caused this call to last for nine minutes that we could not get the call done we could not get the call generated. We could not get the call or get the, the quote in. And uh, maybe it's just a lot of good questions, right? Maybe a lot of good questions being done. Uh, this is one thing I think that gets overlooked overall in all of our, uh, of all of our tools we have to really analyze our business. Obviously you have your reports page at the end as well, but I encourage you to, if you want to really get into your, your, uh, calls. If you want to get into how your lead sources are going, the most important thing is make sure you have your numbers straight so you can get these in here when they call. They need to be trackable. I mean, it is just good information and you'll have a better idea of where are your customers coming from. And at the end of the day, I think it's also very important that you come in, log in, revisit this. You probably want to visit this at least once a week. This is, uh, you know, I just went through and, 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 and did a couple of these on a few owners just to see, 
And it just gives me some great insight into where and why and how these leads came in and, and what we're doing and, and how effective our marketing campaigns are.